watching Comedy Central. You're watching Comedy Central's Cheap Labor Day Weekend. Hey, it's Cheap Labor Day Weekend at Comedy Central. Do they celebrate Earth holidays on the satellite of love? While we ponder this, you watch Mystery Science Theater 3000. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We'll send the cheesy movies, the worst we can find. We'll have to sit and watch them all, and we'll monitor his mind. Now keep in mind, Joe can't control where the movies begin or end. Because he used those special parts to make his robot friends. Robot, 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 gypsy, Tom Servo, You won't be needing this anymore. Hey, hey, wait, that's my body. That's got some of my favorite parts. Oh, oh come on. Oh, I don't want to be part of this dumb nightmare doubleman ad, Joel. Yeah. Don't bite me. You're the thing with two heads. It's fun. I call Ray Milan. Oh, great. That makes me Rosie Greer. Oh, come on. A fella could do a lot worse than be a star lineman for the L.A. Rams. Yeah, but he just happens to be in touch with his feminine side. Let me tell you something, Pinbeak. Your mouthwash just ain't making it. Oh, yeah? Well, this body really stinks. Look at these tiny little arms. What are they good for? Eating corn on a cob? Joel, I really, really hate this thing with two heads idea. Well, yeah, I... stop us before we kill again, Joel. Well, how about this? Well, you're the odd couple, 1999. Say, do, 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 do. sometime earlier, Crow's body had thrown him out, requesting that he never return again. Can two heads live in the same body without driving each other crazy? Felix? No, Oscar, it's not spaghetti, it's linguine. No, it's good. Four. Oh, I don't Two, think so. We'll be right back. Almost Live, a Comedy Central discovery from Seattle. Hi, kids, and welcome to Uncle Fran's Musical Forest. Today, we're going to talk about your dads and what big wussies they've become. Watch the premiere of Almost Live, Sunday, September 27th, only at Comedy Central. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch square. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. The government is about to hand you a new law. It was intended to protect consumers from higher cable TV rates. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. It's loaded with special interests that could increase your cable rates. In fact, if this law passes, your monthly bill for basic cable will go up, not down. Well, if that's consumer protection, how come you're getting soaked? Call now to send a message to your senators and congressmen. Tell them to vote no. Stop the bill that will raise your cable TV bill. Sky fits heaven, so ride it. Child fits mother, so hold your baby tight. Lips fit mouth, so kiss them. And the face they adorn reminds you of someone you once knew some hot night long ago. Familiar as these blue jeans that fit like a glove, like an old lover coming back for more. Curved into the shape of your thigh like they were custom made to do just that. 
I hate to clean. That's why I love this new fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving the film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. No grease, no film, new fantastic. It's cheap Labor Day weekend. Summer's almost over. Bush is still president, and your laxatives just kicked in. Hang on a little longer as Comedy Central returns to Mystery Science Theater and the Gila Monster. Ah. All right, come here, you little waffle <laughs> stuff. Get him, get him, let him have it. Hey, wait, that's me. That's, that's my body. Oh, look at oh. my fat little fireplug of a body. It's humiliating, Joel. I know. You look like George Wentz. Oh, come hey. on, you guys. He's just a little husky, that's all. Oh, look at him run, the stupid jerk. Traitor, you'll get back here with the... Say, look at the cute butt on me, will you? It's not half bad, is it, guys? Woo hey, you're getting into a real weird area now, uh, sir. Yeah, <laughs> Tom, I don't know if that's natural, buddy. Gentlemen, can't a robot admire his own back porch without being thought of as a strange cool, cool type it. of... Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch of calling. Well, I guess the big news around here is Dr. Clayton Forrester died, passed away two, three days ago. As you can imagine, it's a little hectic, what with the funeral arrangements and the business to attend to. And the mole people have been a great source of strength. Wow, what happened? He was uh, dead. I guess that's what caused it all. Um, well, you know, the upshot of all this is <laughs> I'm going to be in charge around here from now on. <laughs> what a way to get a promotion, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Why don't you forge ahead with this week's invention exchange, Joel? I'm going to be busy with Frank for a second. Ooh, you think you'll kill him? Hush, child. Well, sirs, our invention today looks like an ordinary prop radio, mm -hmm. except that its tuner only picks up channels from old sitcoms and movies. Like, for example, this is set up for the Plot Point channel. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special bulletin. The Midvale Bank has just been robbed by two armed hooligans. Hmm. And then there's the incredibly plot-specific news channel. This just in, apparently the Harlem Globetrotters are lost at sea and thought to be washed up on an uncharted desert isle. <laughs> and, of course, the generic teen dance music station. This one song has been playing on this one station for over 50 years. Yeah, this was danced to by the likes of Chip Douglas and Marsha Brady, even Jethro Bodine. What do you think, sirs? Here, it's going to start hurting soon. Uh, take one of these for pain, and the red ones should reduce the swelling. Thanks, Steve. Well, very clever, Holly Hobby. Now taste the red-hot steel of Dr. Clayton Firebrand Forrester. The punching bag has always had a sound principle behind it. Frank? Yes, that it's fun to beat Boffo the Clown savagely and repeatedly till the Boffo's bleeding from the ears. But then, alas, the thrill is gone. Yeah, the fire goes out of your belly. You need something new to stimulate your imagination. That's right. That's why we've invented these hateful punching bags with images of characters from the Renaissance Festival. Uh, for instance, there's uh, the rat catcher. Excuse me, sir. Is that your head or did your neck throw up? Oh, bite me, Frodo. And there's the ever-popular leather mug maker. Please, sir, sample my wares. Sample my fist, you community theater reject. <laughs> Lovable Harlequin. I am Harlequin. I am your worst nightmare. Twenty-three dollars to get in. Huzzah my butt, you satin-suited, token-reading loser. Uh, that's enough, Frank. Uh, well, Joel, uh, your experiment this week is a sweet meat replete with empty-headed teens, fast cars, and a cute little lizard. It's called the Giant Gila Monster, and it will make you hurt, or my name's not Earl Scheib. Enjoy. There are oh, head snapped right on, real nice. Oh, nice. A little stiff. Sleep <clears throat> and desolate. Where no human ever goes. Macy's? And no life hmm. is ever seen. Only you can prevent forest fires. It is as though the land had been posted. My huh? God. Roasted. It's God roasted for great is taste. in these lonely areas of the 
impenetrable forest and dark shadows. Barnabas Cones. The Gila monster still lives. Shelly Winters? How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. Hey. Oranges, porges, who cares? There ain't no rhyme for oranges. Ooh. I usually don't touch cheeks on the first date. Richie oh. Potsy, no! <laughs> <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Bad movie? You're soaking in it. Uh, hey, hava, la gila, hava, la gila, hava. Hmm? You know what? This kind of looks like a modified I Dream of Genie intercept font, don't it? No, 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 no. It's a bewitched uh, sans serif. No, I think you're thinking of a Patty Duke show bold condensed, actually. Oh. Well, you know, if it was italicized, I'd swear it was Jack Webb. Hmm. Good call. <laughs> It's damn casual, actually. Tonight, K E double L O double dead. <laughs> and featuring Jack, no nickname Marshall. Oh, Don. Hey, look, Wee Willie Risser, my favorite John Ford film. I have to do that. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, great. The uh, Gila Monster's fictitious. What a downer. I don't care if I'm living or dead. Oh, Ken Curtis, uh, Festus from Gunsmoke. Well, now, Matthew, you act. The best you each morning. Not. We now join Gila Monster, already in progress. Oh, it's a scene from Truth or Dare. Hey, the kids are meeting in a barber shop. Hey, who put their comb in my coat? Hey, it's Catherine Hepburn's son. Dear Eliza, I'll get that door and roof fixed real soon. Thank you, love. Hey, gang. Hey, what are you doing? What's this? What's that? Luke will be charging you with an entertainment. Hey, hey, one at a time. We've only got one boom mic. Hey, how are the new fires on the bar? Hey, here comes Sabrina and the Gooby Dooleys. It's the magnificent men in their jaunty jalopies. Da -da 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 Aaron, don't touch me. I'm all made up, please. Hey, gang, we're passing the room with it. Some of us have to move into the elevator. Where's Pat and Liz? I thought we'd be the last ones here. <laughs> They're probably out spooking around somewhere. Maybe they broke <laughs> Boom! Down. Not in his heat. I worked on it myself. Oh, oh, that, that wouldn't make any difference if he goofed the speed shift or something. Oh, shut up, Pee Wee. Yeah. Just the one oh. that can do it. Hey, you got it. Oh, wonderful. What kept you so long, Lisa? Oh, Mr. Wheeler smoked two hmm? cigars at the table after dinner. And I could not get out of the shit. Whoa, 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 honey, speak English, will you? that mean? Dad did not come home for dinner. That's why his father was upset. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel American. There's old man Harris. That's the one I had a jewel of a car. Let me think about that. Okay. Well, luck. Hyman, wait here in the car. Looks like this is where old jalopies go to die. Hmm. Hey, it's TV's Lovable String Band! Hey, 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 Wanna sell that deuce? My little deuce, Coop? You don't know what I got. Why are you fellas always after me to buy my car? <laughs> that 32 is the ideal stock to convert to a bomb. Why do you guys always throw me down and steal my wallet? Buying a car, is just like getting married. Or going to New York City. New, New York, York City! Everybody always do it once, but get the room. nobody ought to do it twice. <laughs> I'm available for parties and bar yeah, nights I can first. Get Again with a finger. Paid six hundred and ninety-five dollars for that car twenty-six years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last Ding. month, I turned down a hundred for it. When it gets back up to six ninety-five again, mm -hmm. I'll sell it. Hey, Spoo, uh, give me a snort of that there sodium. <laughs> Excuse me, that one just slipped out. Hey, gang, you know this would be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have drive-in to France, too. Oui, c'est les Jerry Lewis movies. with my brother on his mother's scooter. Looks like he's filling the bottle. Who put soda pop in my soda pop? Okay, too late. 
Hey, let's go do some crimes, man. Hey, Chase. If the road's clear, I'll drag you to Bartonell's corner. Drag me? I'll get the tow chain. No. You still running on that old rubber? Old rubber? No, no, no. no. Hey, folks, when Pat and Liz get here, will you tell them that we went to the drive-in this morning to catch up? Thank you. We sure will. Ding. And I'll give you 150 bucks. To take acting lessons. <laughs> You're talking like my foot's asleep. Okay, enough said, old timer. Are you playing with kids? <laughs> Oh, it's red man juice. <laughs> oh, that guy cracks me up. I don't know. Do you? One Adam 12. One Adam 12. What are you doing in Wisconsin? Selznick International Pictures presents. I'm Sebastian Cabot, and this is Ghost Story. The Jeff Bear Program. Pat didn't come home last night. He didn't? No, evidently was out with Liz Humphreys. She didn't come home either. Oh? No. When you do, Sheriff. I want you to find out why. And don't leave a stone unturned in doing so. Do I make myself clear? I understand, Mr. Wheeler. That's a well-fitting suit. <laughs> Rex reported last night. Your son, Pat, he's about 19, isn't he? That's right. As teens go, yes. He's a year older than I was when I got married. You think they'll elope? No, they can't elope. They're fruit. Get it? Ooh, it's <laughs> there. I didn't say that. But if they were out together all night, you better hope they have. This is a missing persons report, and I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, I'll send in an APB on both of them and the car. I don't think it'll do much good if they went out to get married. They'd already be across the state line. Uh -oh. Why, if he got married, I'll ring his That neck. Jerry Lee, he's done it again. You ask me, it's that Chase Winston. He's older than the others. Sets them all wrong. Why, he's got more influence on Pat than I have. Hooker's a good Chase job. Winstead does more about keeping them in line than getting them in trouble than I know. He's supported his mother and sister ever since his dad died on one of your drill rigs. Your son could take a page out of his book, Mr. Ooh, Winter. What a when burn. I get through with my son, he won't have a book left. Now you locate him or I'll have your job. If you want to be the only peace officer in 10,000 square miles and 1,000 miles of road, you're welcome to it. This is my world and welcome to it. I'll do everything I can to locate both of them. Go on home, they're waiting for you. Make up! How would you like to win some stuff from Billy Crystal and Comedy Central? That's right, Billy Crystal starring in a new movie, Mr. Saturday Night, and Comedy Central wants to put you in the limo as the winner of our Mr. Saturday Night contest. Look at this guy. This is what happens when cousins marry. We'll fly you and a friend to Los Angeles for the world premiere where you'll be armed with special VIP tickets to schmooze with the stars at the after show party. We'll also throw in very nice hotel accommodations and 500 bucks to blow any way you like. This contest is so big that there's even two ways to enter. Just put your name, address, and daytime phone number in a postcard and mail to Mr. Saturday Night Care of Comedy Central, 1775 Broadway, 9th floor, New York, New York, 10019. Or pick up the September 11th issue of Entertainment Weekly, available on newsstand September 7th, and send the official Mr. Saturday Night entry form. Either way, you can win, but you got to send in your entry by 10 a.m. September 14th. Billy Crystal himself will announce the winner of the special edition of Short Attention Span Theater. You still combing your hair with the Exxon Valdez? <laughs> Billy Crystal and Comedy Central giving you the chance to party with the Hollywood big shots. Good luck, babe. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch square. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. Love is a game. If I make this basket, that's fate telling me to call him. Easy to start. Wait. Did no basket mean call him or don't call him? Hard to finish. You know I see other people still. You don't fool me. Bridget Fonda, Campbell Scott, and Matt Dillon. I installed you in your stereo. From the creator of Fast Times at Ridgemont High and Say Anything comes the comedy guide to survive being single. I would play someone with us. Singles, directed by Cameron Crowe, rated PG-13, starts September 18th. Have you seen it? Yeah, we've, we've seen, seen it. it. Have you tried extra classic bubblegum? We've, we've tried, tried it. it. And do you love it? 
We love that great classic <laughs> bubblegum flavor. Everyone's trying extra classic bubblegum with NutraSweet. Classic bubblegum flavor that lasts an extra, extra, extra long time. So if you still haven't tried it, you're missing a tremendous breakthrough. Get classic bubblegum flavor that lasts an extra long time. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your diploma or your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, drafting, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career to make more money. Call 1-800-447-8000. There's no obligation. No salesman will visit you. Call 1-800-447-8000. Call right now. Wish I were. <laughs> Was this the Misfits all of a sudden? Instead of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That bunker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. Oh, I was just kidding. How much for the macaroni and cheese? Mm. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. Tommy bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. <laughs> Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, <laughs> you choke it off so I could never catch it. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. A Joe Namath no, netted wait. slingshot. <laughs> ah. hey. What do you dream about? Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. Mm. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. <gasps> Heck, Ramsey! Were they in any kind of trouble? Oh. What do you mean? Yeah, no. You know, like Warren Beatty and Annette Bening? No, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. You think I'm pretty? I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Mechanic's intuition. You think they might have run off to get married? Hmm. Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... Well, sir, person's got not, not urges. like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? Geez, what is he, the shell answer man? Yeah, some. Like how much? Well, he was talking about getting a new blower at the mill. Mm hmm? About 500 bucks. Where, Where did he get that kind of money? Bank sale. Saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? Hooterville yeah. Savings and Loan. Well, right. He had to find out. He could have been saving if he got married, couldn't he? Mm -hmm. I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. Looks like the garage of Dr. Oh, Calgary. Mm -hmm. His old man has put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man pulled off. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Slow down. Did you check the hospitals? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Gangland? I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to East. They wanted to check with the wheelcats about next Saturday night's platter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. Say. No dragon. Oh, uh, he just bought those red satin pumps. You got any postcards from those two? Let me know. Say, nice J. Crew barn jacket. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Grandma's Lake Cottage in Frederick, Wisconsin. Hi, Sheriff. Hey, Mr. Douglas, I got those bodies buried just in time. Well, they were just waiting by the door. Junior oh, Sheriff. Yeah. Hello, Sheriff. I don't have ah. a for you, ah. She's a good girl, Sheriff. God, you're right. How come you drove around the truck all night, Jim? Well, let's just say I'm acquainted with the night. You don't think she might have eloped, do you? Could be. She's pretty close-mouthed about her affair. 
Maul the likes of Wheeler. Ain't marrying our kind of folks. Yeah, we're just simple white trash. don't have a phone, so I just dropped around to let you know I'm doing everything I can. We know that, Sheriff. We sure do appreciate it. Oh. Sorry, Liz, I took you to so much trouble. Never any trouble looking after kids. Let me know if I can help, Sheriff. <laughs> there we got to quit worrying this way. We've got to trust the Lord. We've got to Crazy play. Amish folk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. Hey. Mmm, nice uvula. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Set me free, booze. I need you. Hi, <laughs> Chase. Uh, still got your knee up, I see. Yeah, she's all set. Good. My oh boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. Stuff heavy, I'll help you unload. No. Ready uh, and yep. Hot. Wheeler's sinking another oil well when he's sprayed a fire when he comes in. What? What the heck are Four you saying? Of of out there in that camp. He wants us to keep it out back at the storehouse. Will Rogers Follies will continue after this. Well, last <laughs> winter, when <laughs> number 21 <laughs> came in, I made $100 for that stuff. Dad showed me how to use it. Mom told not you not to use it. Ooh. Well, she doesn't get nervous. Well, I'm sorry I was late getting back. With that car going, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Was English your first language? Uh, that's a dangerous as long as it's in a nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Ooh. Smoke. You're lucky to be standing here talking about it. I'll put it hey, in the don't go away, sir. Let's talk it through. Doodle -doodle -doodle. Oh, hi, Mom. Hey, don't get up. Here's your chili and your water. Did we win the war, son? Hey, shut up, Mom. Okay. Yep. Much action this afternoon? Get your knee up, boy. Come on. Sheriff got a new patrol car. There we, we go. Got a <laughs> good enough job out of that. Is that nitro safe out there? Well, if it decides to blow, it's not safe anywhere. Is it safe? Huh? My knee's ringing. I'll get it. Oh. That's not our ring. No, it's the sheriff's. If there's been a wreck, I get a tow job out of it. Oh, I'll try to deal wow. with the ambulance if someone's hurt. You work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I have. He's a geometry teacher. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm putting my knee up right now. What kind of a car? Sweet emotion. Turn it off! Yes. I feel so dirty. There's been a wreck 12 miles out of town. Where's the wrecker? Home. Oh. I used the A-frame to build a doggone rock guard. No. Look, you take your car and keep the city wreckers off. I'll get our wrecker and follow you. And we can clear away the wreckage of our sordid past. N Y P D. Yeah, we know you're here. There's no one else in the county, and you use your siren. <laughs> oh, they've got this angle parking thing all wrong. See anything I can put my knee up on here, boy? I wondered who was on that party line a while ago. It cost me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. There's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah, gee, looks like a cat climbed up in the grill. Woof. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Hey, sounds like Robert Klein's yeah. around here. No digs in the macadam, either. Sad, really. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Nothing escapes you, Obi. I've already doesn't... looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. Mm -hmm. No, they just said something. Nope, nope, nope. Then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to fill out the reports. Yeah, nobody likes a lousy snitch. What do you do now? Well, I'll take the license number and the engine number. Call headquarters. Maybe they've got a light on them. Our headquarters. Hey, what are you looking at? That's official police hey. property. How are your headlights? Fine. I don't have headlights. Fine. Both of them burning? Mm hmm. How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? 
Bought Why? a kajillion, sir. But the first time it was just a suggestion. Seal beam only cost four dollars. Well, the I've tender headlight had some unexpected thing. expenses. Oh, Missy. <laughs> now the doctor said she'd be able to start walking again pretty soon, and took all the money I had to make a part down payment on her braces. Gosh, the moonlight does crazy things to your hair, sir. Well, you know, I think this is a complete washout. These folks are dead. Not much else we you can do. You probably got a screwdriver. No, but I got a Singapore sling. It's just, oh. I don't think the insurance company has missed one of those headlamps. Yeah, that guy's not going to miss his credit cards either, you know. <laughs> Sure, we all do. Well, do you realize you? Hey, move aside. Do you realize we might have you might have a gold mine sitting in that empty pantry or linen closet at home? Yeah, sure. Just do what I do and turn that empty closet space into a gold mine by turning it into a teen pavilion slash barber shop, just like in today's movie, The Giant Gila Monster. Woo! Solid gone, Jasper. Woo! Freak steady. Kids, will you step, step aside? You guys in their teen lingo. You know, all you got to do is clear away some of the more hazardous cleanser. Stock up on plenty of health, delicious, and delicious snacks and beverages, and then tune in your prop radio into the appropriate teen dance tunes. Big finish! Yeah. Woo. Oh, oh, you make me sweat, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's go get something cool and slippery from the stupid jerk. Oh, good hey, idea. stupid jerk. Tom, it's so to jerk. Would you guys straighten up and fly with me on this one? Come on, this is my sketch. Uh, okay. All right, All right. pops. Uh, shoot us a couple of blue Floyds, yeah, huh? Yeah. What, what's a blue Floyd? Cranny, <laughs> uh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daddy, we'll talk you through. Okay. Uh, just put two scoops of ice cream okay. in a blender. Two, no, no, three scoops. Three uh, scoops. Uh, oh, yeah. Three okay. scoops. Extra, um, three three and scoops. Add some malted of, milk. Of ice Lots cream. Of yep. And okay. uh, then fill it to the top with cool menthol barbicide. Okay. Yeah, three, and garnish with a cold. Ah, yeah. Oh, come on, you guys. That's it. What? The fun time's oh, over. Okay. This is my sketch. You guys never go along with me on these things. I stop. I'm oh, quitting. Come on, oh, come on, baby. Oh, We're oh, just oh, fun. Yeah. No way. Every time you guys, the robot, Robots come up with some half-baked idea. I try to go along with it and be supportive, but the minute Joel has an idea for a presentation, in run the baby Teddy Ruxpins and spoil everything. Okay, oh, fine. Forget. Next time you can get your precious yeah. gypsy oh, yeah. to help you. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, Gypsy, come here. Oh, yeah. Gypsy, Gypsy. These two, nothing but trouble. Back after this. Billy Crystal's hosting short attention span theater to talk about his new movie, Mr. Saturday Night. Watch it. Friday, September 18th, only at Comedy Central. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch square. Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. If you like Rice Krispies, try Triples. We think you'll do a triple wow. take. Triples is crisp like Rice Krispies and tastes so good, so surprising, you might just do a triple take. So try Triples with tasty Rice Krisps, hearty Wheat Crisps, and sunny Corn Crisps. Triples has a taste that'll turn your head. And might just have you doing a... You want the best for them. Give it to them. Give them a beach where the sand is black and the water's white. Let them see where ocean waves reach mountaintops and where fire is the color of the sky. Fill their eyes, their ears. Fill their memories with the best of times. Together, on the big island of Hawaii, let United Airlines take you there. Call now for a free vacation guide, and come fly the friendly skies. 
AT&T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Those AT&T so, customers who spend over $11 a month on long distance could start saving right away by signing up for one of the Reach Out America plans. If you spend over $11 a month on AT&T long distance, you could save too. Just call 1-800-332-2550. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day. 25% on AT&T calls made after 5 p.m. And on some plans, enjoy a daytime discount too. We're pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month on long distance, call AT&T. You could save 25% on evening calls. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-332-2550 and sign up for a Reach Out America plan. Hi, I'm Kristen. Cheryl. Vanessa. It's Chief Liberty Weekend here at Comedy Central. And I'm in charge. And now back to the Gila Monster. What's a Gila Monster? <laughs> Literally scared. Quiet, don't let it happen I'm gonna again. Die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's young Jimmy Morrison as the Lizard King. Here comes Fred Sanford. I'm feeling mighty peckish. Snack time. Yeah. Oh, good afternoon, sir, madam. I'd like to show you the Encyclopedia Britannica if you just take a... Damn, I thought selling door to door was hard. Ooh. I just love dining al fresco. And that's the guy's name, al fresco. Oh. Can you believe me? Yeah. I can't get that tune out of my head. I don't know. The road company of death of a salesman, ladies and gentlemen. I'll eat him with relish. <laughs> Lizard jokes. <laughs> Father beans. Well, see every coop. I've been meaning to quit. Hey. It's a monoclear moment. Wow. Hey, can I bum a smoke? And for killing that salesman, you win the Samsonite luggage. Oh, have an accident? No thanks, just had one. Story. Car was stolen out of state, and the plates were stolen in state. Insured by all states. So whoever stolen it, beat it, hurt or not, as long as they can navigate. I'm a Tell poet, and I don't know anything it. Anything else I can do here, Sheriff? If not, I'll get this on back to the drive. Oh, go ahead. Sheriff, okay. you give me a hand? No, cinch up your own I pants, Sheriff. Of those skid marks. You stand by them for scale. Skid marks, you're a sick man, Sheriff. Wait, that's my car! <laughs> Let's see, I got tires, headlights, now if I could just get a roof. Man, night falls fast in Tennessee. Yeah, well. I'm guessing a Northwest flight passed overhead. Mm -hmm. Uh, entrapment. Oh. I smell a frame up. Luggage gate. Uh, can I see your claim check, please? Yeah. Mm. Couple chase? No, no, Sheriff. Take a look. Uh, that's an easy one. It's a suitcase. Probably fell off a car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in a bush. You know, a smart feller could put his knee up on such no, a thing. As soon as that mm. imitation leather is, even a bush should take some of it off. Was it just like that when you found it? Well, yeah, I angled up. it two degrees to... Probably belonged to some hitchhiker. That's a leap of faith. This might have belonged to the fellow that stole that car and wrecked it. Mm. Go ahead, pick it up, one of you. You know you wanna. Come on. Uh, say, look at this. Well, it looks like Edward R. Murrow's been through here. I specialize in previously owned cigarette butts. Half a pack of cigarettes, <laughs> one on lift. I can't decide which one to eat. They both look so good. <laughs> that suitcase don't belong to any car thief. He was around here too long. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. Son? Wait, he called me son. No wonder Mom cries when I mention the Sheriff. You know, when I look at the human race, I gotta laugh. I got a chick peen for a brain, and I'm still smarter than they are. Go figure. I'll be right back after these words. Thirteen, thirteen, Mockingbird Lane. Oh, I'd say it looks like he's early for the panty raid on the dorm. Oh. 
Well, thank goodness the IHOP's still open, you know? Pancakes are up for everybody. <laughs> well, it's just about time for him to put his knee in. Yep, <laughs> called it. How'd you call that? <laughs> Ooh la la, rooty tooty, fresh and fruity for me. Hmm? Were you putting your knee up again? Aren't that enough for you? Hey, hey you're getting dippity doing oh, my coat. I got your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Willow, he became very angry. He said if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bone. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Bert Ward? Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. Yeah, maybe at a 7-Eleven. What's tomorrow, Pa? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chip. You won't have to, honey. <clears throat> I think it's your fault that Pa's run away. Ling, think whatever he wants to think. You shouldn't take it out on Here, let's go rent the errand boy. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside. And look, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. What the? French people sure do kiss funny. Mm -hmm. Transportation service provided by Kennedy Limousine. We get you there safe or we don't pay. In Hannesport and Pompey. It's a speed bump with a tongue! Ooh. Whoa! Wow. He's an excellent driver. <laughs> Definitely an excellent driver. He's not wearing his underwear. <laughs> Man, I've been following you around for days just hoping you might need a tow job. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, right. I'm great. Here, wait a minute. I'll let you look yeah. at me full size. I'm superb. Seven <laughs> to a box, no corners. I'm a round house. Hmm? Is there an I interpreter in there with you? Smith. Horatio Potato Alger head. Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you can call me Sugar Lumps. How'd you get in the ditch? You fall asleep? Oh, no, no, no. There was, uh, <laughs> there was this big pink and black thing drove right in uh -huh. front of me. It had stripes. This yeah. Sure. Alcoholism sure is a hoot. And I'll get your car out. Okay, that sounds like... Lean on me, baby. Yeah. Lean. Get me up here. Yeah. What's he doing? Hey. Hey, man, you can't drive this car. Man. Bender's cutting the wheel. Sure I can. The motor works, see? But thanks for everything, Dad. You're a cotton-picking friend. <laughs> okay, just a second. I'll get out of the way. We thought it would be funny to make a hopeless drunk try to drive a car while it's hooked to a tow truck. Let's watch. What is it? It's the State Farm no Insurance yeah, scene. You like it? This scene is funny. <laughs> Wide track tires stabilize your ride. What is it now? Oh, that's the Amco theme. That's in a bag. Steering wheel won't work. This strikes me as humorous. Mm -hmm. How can he drive when he's hooked up to a tow truck? The whole concept strikes me as absurd. I'm driving. I can't say fair returns. Get these spiders off me! <laughs> Rhythm, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. Jada. I hate acapella. Oh, so that's who I am. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, shut up! Say. I think I'll take after him with that hammer. You're watching Comedy Central's Cheap Labor Day Weekend. Dad, 
Dad, Dad. Is your family trying to tell you something? Yes. Dentine now has more breath freshening flavor. So brush your breath clean with great tasting new Dentine. Fido. Fido. Oh. Fetch Fido. Is your best friend trying to tell you something? Yes. Dentine now has more breath freshening flavor. So brush your breath clean with great tasting new Dentine. Are you ready to finally get in shape? To tone and strengthen stomach, thighs, and buttocks? Thinking about getting in shape is the first step. The next step is easy. Introducing Easy Step. Now you can enjoy the benefits of stair climbing in the comfort of your own home. Just step on the slip-resistant foot plates and step, step, step to a fitter, trimmer you. 20 minutes, three times a week, and you'll burn maximum calories in minimum time. Step by step, you firm and shape buttocks, thighs, and calves. Most expensive stair climbers only work muscles from the waist down. Easy Step's unique free stepping system adds an upper body workout to tone all major muscle groups. Scientifically engineered hydraulics provide just the right amount of resistance. Easy Step folds down to an incredible four inches, and it's so portable, you can Easy Step anytime, anywhere. There's no assembly required, and Easy Step comes with an amazing five year warranty. Best of all, unlike this $1,000 monster, Easy Step can be yours for three easy payments of $33. Exclusively available from Fitness Effects. So take the Easy Step to a firmer looking you and order now. Don't be fooled by imitations. Just call 1 800 525 7700. We'll bill your credit card three monthly payments of only $33 plus shipping and handling. To order your original Easy Step, call 1 800 525 7700. Just three monthly payments, so call now 1 800 525 7700. Hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm Christina. It's, it's Cheap Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend, weekend here, here at Comedy Central. Central. And here's more Heel Monster. And Mystery Science, Science Theater, Theater 3000. 3000. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! Hey. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. Did I do something last night? I'm not going to be proud. My guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that. For what? For singing and singing and singing and singing and singing. It's all good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? I told well, you, but I left the I car. I remember very, very little. Uh, but don't worry, you're ran a perfect ditch, gentleman. I didn't see any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed, anyway? It was your cologne. I carried you in there, <laughs> and I sat on you till you fell asleep. Oh, wow. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. It was fun. I didn't well, mind. I really appreciate it. Um, Chase Winstead. Chase. Hey. And I, uh, my golly, how much are you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. Want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? Uh, you've touched no, it. No, I don't think Chase. so. I'll uh, get that done when I get back to the city. You okay? Some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Two bucks? That's outrageous. I'm not paying. Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks. Kid, you're dumber than a bag of hammers. Sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Leg up. Mine City well, Votech. I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? Right. Will do. Okay. On, oh, by the way. Uh, here's the Denny's coupon. Good any time after midnight. Enjoy. Buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Hammer man. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, please, thank you. No. Steamroller Smith, the disc jockey. Hey, I love your morning show, especially when you make goofy phone calls to celebrities. 220. That makes thirty dollars. Wow. <laughs> well, she swings whenever she sings, whenever she sings. Blah blah da da dee da. Hmm. Sheriff. I think Howdy, you're saying too much of me. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? No, nothing. Nope. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Are you looking on a different script Oh, here? I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. Hmm. Is he demanding that? There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year, and it took him 19 days to find him. 
I don't know what they expect of me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I love your defeatist attitude. Look, Sheriff, maybe I can get tomorrow off and... I'll get the gang and we can go out and search that pass. At least you can put that in your report. And smoke it. I was it. hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. Uh, can I have your help in another matter? Sure, what? You remember how those skid marks just went at right angles to direction the car? Hey, would you drop the skid marks? Get... Really? Headquarters think I'm nuts. Well, then they're Headquarters nuts. be right. Didn't, mm. didn't you send them that picture? Well, I'm not the world's greatest photographer. The <laughs> picture didn't come out. Can't see the skid marks on the black. Would you top. forget the skid marks? Well, that's what happened. I even wiped up the rubber dust with my fingers. Okay. You might have to sign a statement to that effect for me. You got it. Look, you can even see the bald spots on the tires where they went sideways. Oh, don't say yeah. bald spot. I'm sensitive. Spot, all right. But there's another thing that puzzles me. How am yeah, well, What's the appeal? How those tires got off of that car and almost Come on, on don't tease us. Put your legs well, look, up. On, you know you want to. On they'd rot. And on my, on my rod, they could prevent a blowout. Maybe even an accident. Travolta in blowout. Well, take good care of them in case the owner shows up. Right. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Right. <laughs> what a dink. Hi, white kids. We were going to make out here. Let's call it today. We've covered half the roads in this town. Hello, I'm Larry Miller. How are you? How about that ravine? That runs along here for about eight miles. Gee, we could really pan out the movie with that ravine. All right. As long as I get to be Ty Andrews. No, we've decided you're already Larry Miller. Oh. Sing whatever and eat the teens. Sing and la 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 la. I'm your boyfriend now. Blah, 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 blah. Telling others that go, sing when you sling whatever the thing. It's close. Oh, never mind. Hey, honey, Spalding Grace performing Monster in a Box down here. No, really? Oh, I'm big. I'm really big. There's no way to describe just how enormous, but thanks for your patronage. Enjoy this next upcoming event from Hot West. Enjoy. Honest, they built a fort down here and everything, dear. Mm. Bros popping. Hey, cut that out. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <sighs> That'll hurt. Mm -hmm. See, honey, all this could be yours. Sure is beat down around. Yep, yep. Look at that. What is it, sir? It's a bridge. Looks like an animal of some sort. Taylor brought something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, could be anything, even a mountain lion. Meow. Oh, come on. Kitty cat. Now, that was a huge log I was hauling earlier. I'm very immense and huge, believe me. Thanks a lot. And enjoy the rest of the show and head out to the lobby and enjoy a delicious bonbon. I don't make this noise myself, folks. It's called Foley. I'll be back later with another fun fact. Thanks and enjoy. Hey, he put on a little weight for the role, just like De Niro. No, that is De Niro. He's dedicated. Mm -hmm. Very, very dedicated. He's cute. <laughs> yes, but haven't we gone far enough, Jay? Ah, uh, don't drink that. That's my urine. I don't even do that. Ooh, that's bitter. What do you expect? That's an awful lot of mineral in it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a breather first. Chip, I... He's doing I a gap commercial. Like let's go back. Are you afraid? Now, you come on over here with me. Shade and all that. Go into that. Boom! Whoa! Oh. I like to watch. <laughs> no, do it like this. <laughs> Come on, let's go already. These kids today, I tell you. Come on. <laughs> hey, gang, I drank lizard urine. Ooh. You passed cars at the bottom of the wash. Hmm? Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. So, you called us up for that? 
Did I ever tell you about the six levels of drinking? It's really fascinating. Yeah. Hi, I'm Larry Miller, but in a way, aren't we all? And I want you to watch me on the A-list here at Comedy Central. That's the A-list, not the A-team. I hope. Watch the A-list, weeknights at 11 only at Comedy Central. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is 3 4 7 inch by 3 4 7 inch square. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. It's a rock thing. It's a pop thing. Jazz thing. I just want to add one thing. To me, the best kind of music is every kind of music. Kick it. The music's always hotter on Arsenio. It's a night thing. With each new day, you find a way to be your best. Gillette Sensor for the closest, safest shave ever. You know Gotta be a little better than the rest. Only Gillette Sensor has spring-mounted twin blades that sense and adjust to every detail of every face. Gillette Sensor, when you're the best, there's no feeling like it. Gillette, the best a man can get. I hate to clean. That's why I love this new fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving the film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. No grease, no film, new fantastic. Hey, I know how you feel. Your weight is up, your energy's down, your self-esteem's low, your blood pressure's high. You know what you need? Exercise. But who has the time? You do. Just imagine. Imagine what a difference you can make in just 20 minutes a day, three times a week with Nordic Track. Nordic Track. They call it the world's best aerobic exercise. Nordic Track's patented flywheel provides your total body gets into the action. That's not true with ordinary exercisers. Nordic Track's total body workout burns more calories. You'll lose weight, reduce stress, and feel better. I'll bet you never imagined fitness at home could be this easy. Now is the time to get rid of that unfit body. Create a new you. Try Nordic Track for 30 days at home with no risk or obligation. You'll see and feel the difference. Call for a free video and brochure. It's cheap Labor Day weekend on Comedy Central. Hey, you're right about that. Is that an automatic or is that a stick? It's an automatic. All right. Let's get back to Mystery Science Theater 3000. Hello, Crow. Hiya, Tom. Hiya, Mr. Day. Crazy Guggenheim, one of the truly funny drunks. You know, you just don't see comical drunks like the one in this week's experiment anymore, do you? What happened? When did public intoxication stop being funny? Well, I think the 60s were kind of the golden age of the funny drunk. Remember Otis? from Mayberry? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Sandy, I'll just let myself into the jail. <laughs> hey, uh, what about Dean Martin? He was really funny oh, when yeah. he was drunk, well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was also very cool. You know, I think it would be oh, yeah. a good idea I'll if we each cool. did our kind of favorite funny drunk. Oh, okay. uh, me yeah. first, me first. Okay. okay. Uh, I got one already. Uh, right. I'm going to be the guy who calls you, uh, who gets really drunk, calls you at 3 in the morning and tells you what a good friend you are. Okay. Oh, Joel, help me out on this. You can do the guy on the other end of the phone. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello? Hi, you know what, man? You're a really good friend. <laughs> no, really. I mean, it's you're a good friend. I love you, man. I love you. You're a beautiful person, man. I admire you. You made something of yourself, man. Joel? You got out of this Joel? town. I think that's great, man. Joel? I Fail me out, buddy, will you? That's very nice, Chris. Crow. 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 That's very good. Very, very funny, very funny, Crow, and very poignant, uh, very bittersweet. Tom, you want to do yours? Well, I'm going to be everybody's favorite funny drunk. <laughs> I'm going to be the life of the party on New Year's Eve, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just imagine now, get this, I have either a lampshade or a fez, perhaps, on my head there, huh? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey, everybody, it's almost midnight. <laughs> Guess I'll see you next year. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh. Huh? oh my god, my only oh, friend is no. having a stroke! Oh, Tommy, Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joel! What? Give your own uh, gypsy a big uh, slappy uh, wet one, huh? Oh, 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 yeah! Oh. Oh. You guys, stop it! This isn't funny anymore! Uh, guys, are, did we just uh, do an after-school special here? Well, I don't think so. I haven't seen Scott Bale on the premises. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, actually, since we've moved into that genre, I think it's time to do the pointy and thoughtful ending, don't you? Yeah. So. Rarely have we seen a person fail who, who has, has thoroughly, thoroughly followed, followed our, our path. path. Our, our stories, stories disclose in a general way what happened, happened, what we were like, and what we are like now. We got some this guy doing? No, 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 no. The steering wheel's on the other side. What, are you from Europe or something? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Should I go backwards? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. I thought you said go backwards. That's right, go ahead. Give it some more. Um, oh, yes. but should I go left? Right. Tell me, should I go left? Right. That's what I'm asking! Right! Third base! No left! Ladies and gentlemen, join us next week for another edition of Abbott and Costello Playhouse. <laughs> Good one, girl. Folks, I tried to get them to rewrite this scene. Next time, I'll insist on Final Cut. Enjoy my special spring project. Roll it over on us now! <laughs> hey, you really get a sense of where that monster is, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. You did fine, honey. I'll be using this condescending oh, tone till the mid-70s. Right. Yeah. yeah. We'll meet you back at the garage, okay? Oh, yeah, let's go, Jenny. Can't that woman use a door? I sing whenever... Oh, no, I'm doing it all. Ugh. Like a cheese shredder. I'm getting really hungry. I've got to stop letting them get away, folks. Until next time, good night and God bless. So the entire town revolves around the towing business. Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty much. Sings whenever he sings and every sing. Ah, oh, forget it. Hi, you guys fixing cars? Can I hang around some? Where did you find? By the reservoir and Williams Wash. They weren't in it. No sign of blood or anything. Neat. No, I think they were thrown clear. Did you search the area? Oh, yeah, isn't that your job? down the ravine for about a mile and oh, we looked beyond the wreck for a couple hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. Looks like Ty Gander is in the middle there. I don't know what's Larry Miller. Larry Miller, huh? The same as that Dan. Like a hit with a ten-ton rubber mouth. Is it a fantasy of yours, sir? Trip down that cliff, but could have done it. Yeah, I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You are a rake. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking if if Liz and Pat had a eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car. His old man Wheeler would have it traced right off. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, well, maybe he stole it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Larry Miller, ladies and gentlemen. If it was stolen, somebody parked it there. Well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Yep. Possibility makes some sense, though. Yep. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Oh, Rochester, will you dust the truck? Gosh, I wish you boys would have called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. Yeah, <laughs> like you could find a clue. <laughs> the hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we found them there. Nope. He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Ned? Raise Ned? Where's Mr. Condon? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm gonna close out. 
Talk to you later. I know, I know. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Real change, folks. It's the wages of fear. Well, I sing whenever I sing whenever she sings. <laughs> uh, whoa! Wow, the first cool thing in the movie. Hey. I just know I'm gonna take the blame for this, and I wasn't even close. Meanwhile, back at the Jode house. I'm what do you mean? Sorry, I'm late. Not so fast, are you? What for? Oh. Clean right guard, Mom? <laughs> Did you ever play football? With the Green Bay Packers. Oh, that's not <laughs> right. Picking up your mom and playing no, football with her. That's wrong. All right, Crazy people. <laughs> Oedipus, you put me down. You poke your eyes out. Keep them closed. at the heartstrings. This isn't fair. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought you meant braces on your teeth, honey. Oh, <laughs> oh take them back. They don't work. Okay. I can get up. <laughs> oh, this is so <laughs> tender. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Shorted out the house. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful, baby. Just wonderful. I've been practicing beautiful. all afternoon. Ever since Lisa brought the braces over. And then walked all the way twice. I wanted to do it right for you. Uh -huh. That's neat. Who's your friend? Okay, back in the case. Silly chatterbox. You're on the wrong feed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There was a mushroom. Wait, it's Rafi. Sad little mushroom. There was he really did come with a banjo on his knee. Ready to cry. There was a sparrow. I'm gonna go listen sparrow. to my cat scream. There was an eagle. Silent there was a tow truck, truck operator who couldn't sing to save his life. She's trying to wish him into the cornfield right now. And all that is left to complete the job. If it Just wasn't for the blue tail, tail fire, fire. Hey, Jimmy Crack, crack corn. Corn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have to smile as my brother. And there was a garden. Hmm? I got a fast tow truck. Beautiful garden. Always oh, improvising arms. now. Of a world without joy. Hey, thanks for cheering us up. And then there was laughter. Well, we assume that. Wonderful laughter. For he created. Boy, you know, I just love a Sammy Connor. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Oh, laugh. Children laugh. This is the Chapin brother they don't talk about. I'm going to kill him. Well, it's going into his head, boys. Yep, smells like teen spirit. Mm -hmm. Take it home, brother. Please. <gasps> no, not the coda. No! Oh, no! Oh, that's real nice, but it doesn't help my legs. That is important, isn't it, Jay? Oh, it's sure. Ow. And you know, I never felt any more like last than I do right Thanks a lot. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you really? Honest, but you know, you're going to have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed. It takes a long time, okay? Now, Scram, I got a dame here. Too big. Do I have to, Shay? You sure do. Yep. Show me how you can walk. Get out before he starts playing again. Good night, <laughs> little, little grandstander, you. <laughs> you gotta love her. Almost live.
a Comedy Central discovery from Seattle. And if you're a white person and you really like being a white person, they'll really like you up in Hayden Lake, Idaho. Watch the premiere of Almost Live, Sunday, September 27th, only at Comedy Central. Whose face would this match perfectly? <laughs> Kevin Kirby. <laughs> are so harsh. Well, have you seen him lately? No. Maybe he's getting a face transplant. <laughs> so why don't you, like, help him out? What should we do? Put the Clearasil on his zits for him? Nobody's gonna tell you to your face you need Clearasil. Such strong medicine, Clearasil guarantees fewer pimples in five days of your money back. Kevin? Hey. Hey, Kevin, wait up. Okay, say you're a countertop and you find yourself with this blueberry stain. Now, you know there are some kinds of powders that are harsh and can scratch. So, would you want to be cleaned by one of them? Or would you go for the soft scrub with Clorox bleach, which lifts out tough stains without harsh scratching? So, what's it gonna be? A harsh powder or soft scrub with Clorox bleach? Huh. Ooh, wise choice. Soft scrub with bleach. Yeah. Preferred by countertops everywhere. The first time I switched pain relievers, it was from aspirin to Tylenol. Then recently, I switched again from Tylenol acetaminophen to Advil. You see, I got these really pounding headaches, and I found Tylenol didn't always get rid of all the pain. So I tried Advil and found that for my really tough headaches, two Advil worked better than two extra strength Tylenol tablets, better than extra strength Tylenol caplets, better than Tylenol gel caps. For my tough headaches, Advil just works better. Advil, advanced medicine for pain. Sky fits heaven, so ride it. Child fits mother, so hold your baby tight. Lips fit mouth, so kiss them. And the face they adorn reminds you of someone you once knew some hot night long ago. Familiar as these blue jeans that fit like a glove, like an old lover coming back for more. Curved into the shape of your thigh like they were custom made to do just that. This is Comedy Central's cheap Labor Day weekend, and you're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Giant Gila Monster. Don't ever sing that song again. It was a wonderful thing for me to do, Lisa. I want us to. Now you're broke, aren't you? No, but my spirit is. I'm just gonna pick him up in the morning. I know. When you showed me that money, I was afraid you'd get this first. Well, I'm still going to pay you for it. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello. How are things at headquarters? We should have been back an hour ago. Hmm? He's phoning in his no. lines. Where? That's awful. No, it couldn't be Mr. Comp. You don't say. All right. Huh? You don't say. At the garage? All right, I'm leaving now. You don't say. What is it? He didn't say. Do oh, I love that. Honey, I'm awfully sorry, but I've got to leave. Here he comes now, Sheriff. Hide the flask. Come on. Huh? Wait a minute, Sheriff. You've got a sore foot. Oh, sorry. Huh? Gotta shoot him. Oh. Take my mom away. She's all shiny and bright. Well, we'll Shut mom. up, Come cookie on, pants. Get in. in. No, I didn't see it, but I sure heard about it. Can I open this thing up? Oh, yeah, but I'm flattered. Check your rims. Let's get going. What's new with the next scene down at the gay ride? Hey, on three, let's throw the old guy out, huh? Ready? One, two. Oh, we're here already. Chinese fire drill, everybody out. 
Ah, geez, absolutely no salvage with this one. Ah, look at the poor guy. Hmm, let's stick some cloves in him. Hmm. Tires look good. Hmm. Be careful, it's pretty hot. He's not in it. He may have been hurt and crawled away. Sheriff, let's face the around. fact, the guy's Come dead. On, okay. Thompson! Thompson! Just look for a burning guy. <laughs> Find anything, Sheriff? Let's go over this again. Uh -oh. How did you get in? Oh, here comes the vaudeville what? routine. Don't tell me again. What's on second? Well, I was barreling along in my mud leg. It don't look like much now, but you the beauty when I first The accident. <laughs> go, go. Get up to 60. The accident. <laughs> yes, the accident. Just the facts, ma'am. Well, I'll tell you. I wish you would. <laughs> What's this on second? seen the headlights coming up the day towards you, and all of a sudden they come in to go and... These two are just glowing, aren't they? Boy, she blew up. <laughs> well... Somebody is in a mite of trouble, so uh, he come in the store talking about it. That's when I offered to call you. Yep. You just Don't ever touch me. No. Did he see anything else? Nope. No. Nope. Can you see me? You want to wait in the car for us? No. Nope. Is there well, a point to your little story? Okay, sheriff, okay. Let's say always, <laughs> always. Thank you, thank you. Oh. I'm hungry. Hey, Chase. Oh, now here comes Zeppo. Oh, nothing. Here comes this guy. Cotton and Liz might have a little... What's about? But Compton ought to be around here. Maybe he's in the hospital. No. I checked there before I left my place. Would Compton have any reason to want to get lost? <laughs> no, none that I can think of. You would have no reason to know about this, but there's been a lot of livestock now. Hmm? Another One plot? Here. Oh, oh man! There. That doesn't make headlines, but now it's people. Mm -hmm. You think there's a tie-up? I don't know. What we need is a criminal investigator and headquarters won't send Do we down. maybe have a sheriff in the vicinity? Well, maybe they will now. Yeah, maybe. Did you notice those skid marks? Would Just you like forget, forget the, the skid, skid marks? marks? You've been hit by another vehicle of painted be knocked off. What batters a car around like it was a toy? My wife! Good night, everybody! <laughs> Enjoy the meal! Have fun coming along to the party. All right. I'll be uh, by the way, the stove's so. on. Say, you and Chase sure got off light. You took off this morning. You just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. You get the high pass that up? Yeah. Well, you steamboats, dreamboats, that's for sure. Steamroller Smith. Another session of old steamroller here at KILT. Have any of you round rocks get Can't both stand that teen slang. Turn I'll to Paul Harvey. I'll be emptying a bladder party tonight out at Harvey Hayes' barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flat. Whoops. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day. We're getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that guy? Man, was the Richard Speck a popular haircut back mm. then? Oh, the door's jammed. See, that's why it's got... I love that door. Really works well. Mm -hmm. Hey, little man, you sure had a busy day. Oh, Getting that paint job and Steamroller Smith. Snuffy Smith? Now, how'd you guys find out about Steamroller Smith? We well, just said so on his program. Said it right out on the network. Yep. Oh, I want it to be a surprise. Well, come on, don't spread it around, huh? Yeah, wash your hands. Really? How are the preparations coming? Oh, that'll be finished about 45 minutes. The gang won't start arriving from you. No, no, that's 30 weight. Cool. We're under the wire with time to spare. No sweat. We now return to Three Jacks and a Jew. Mm, good, he's gonna get it. Oh, and he's drinking turtle wax. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Headed to Obar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate the ground you walk no. on, little darling. For all them things that you have did to me. <laughs> Oh, you nag me till you Jones, ladies and gentlemen. I know you feel bad, Mr. Gower. Please kill him, please. Good. Things make sense when you're all liquored up. It's fun. Super chief. Come on, Captain Bell. That's good. Stupid man, more powerful than an Oki motive. Oh, 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 I've seen this. Now, this is the last scene from Crazy Larry and Dirty Mary, remember? <laughs> huh? Come along. Oh. 
Whoa. Look out, everybody. There's a forked tongue in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's me. I did that, sorry. Billy go, Billy go, get off my bridge. <laughs> it's the soul train. Ooh. Three. We're traveling on the engine on the Happy Day Express. The letters on the engine say J E S U S. Mmm, I like butter. Look, my chin's yellow. That means I like butter. Makeup! How would you like to win some stuff from Billy Crystal and Comedy Central? That's right, Billy Crystal starring in a new movie, Mr. Saturday Night, and Comedy Central wants to put you in the limo as the winner of our Mr. Saturday Night contest. Look at this guy. This is what happens when cousins marry. We'll fly you and a friend to Los Angeles for the world premiere where you'll be armed with special VIP tickets to schmooze with the stars at the after show party. We'll also throw in very nice hotel accommodations and 500 bucks to blow any way you like. This contest is so big that there's even two ways to enter. Just put your name, address, and daytime phone number in a postcard and mail to Mr. Saturday Night Care of Comedy Central, 1775 Broadway, 9th floor, New York, New York, 10019. Or pick up the September 11th issue of Entertainment Weekly, available on newsstand September 7th, and send the official Mr. Saturday Night entry form. Either way, you can win, but you got to send in your entry by 10 a.m. September 14th. Billy Crystal himself will announce the winner of the special edition of Short Attention Span Theater. You still combing your hair with the Exxon Valdez? <laughs> Billy Crystal and Comedy Central giving you the chance to party with the Hollywood Big Shots. Good luck, babe. This is the reason to never use soap again. If we promise this rich, soap-free lather goes beyond soap clean... It does. If we promise it even removes makeup greaselessly... It will. If we promise it helps keep essential moisture as you cleanse... It does. And that light Olay fluids work like young skins for a fresh young glow... They have to. Foaming Face Wash by Oil of Olay. We keep our promise to young skin. Now a new sensitive. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch square. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. It's not a young thing. It's not an old thing. It's something you gotta see. It's not a girl thing. It's not a guy thing. It's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's right on the tip of your tongue and you're thinking it's a... Uh... It's a night thing. Night thing? Did he say a night thing? It's a night thing! Yes. What else would you call it? Fei Chang Hao, Fei Chang Hao. It's a night thing. Watch Arsenio. It's a night thing. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. At ICS, more than 10 million men and women have prepared for new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your diploma or your degree. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, TV, VCR repair, child daycare, computer programming, electrician, veterinary assistant, medical dental office, bookkeeping, legal assistant, interior decorating, drafting, hotel restaurant management, learning the personal computer, or get your degree. You can major in business management or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call now for the free information Sally Struthers spoke about. Then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career to make more money. Call 1-800-447-8000. There's no obligation. No salesman will visit you. Call 1-800-447-8000. Call right now. It's cheap Labor Day weekend. Summer's almost over. Bush is still president, and your laxatives just kicked in. Hang on a little longer as Comedy Central returns to Mystery Science Theater and the Gila Monster. Ah. Why is he driving in a riverbed? It's me. Hey, look, a hand up there. <laughs> a director, folks. Ooh. 
Nope, nope, didn't see it. Never saw it. Nope, nope, not gonna get involved. <laughs> gonna act like I'm in New York City. <laughs> Turn around, get the heck out of here. Nope, bye, Nick. <laughs> Where's the dining car? <laughs> hey, there's meat on the inside. <laughs> Barbecue. Wow, I don't know where to begin. It all looks so good. <laughs> Probably. Something real strange must have happened down there. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up oh, and yeah, dial yeah. again. You'll be handy if you want it. Yep, yeah, I'm right. rubbing my belly right now. Sit down, Harris. Ah, oh, crammy. Pull up your <sighs> pants and sit down. <laughs> yeah, watch the feed. Uh, you be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? Oh, that's not my territory. What is that's your territory? Troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train. Well, well, the wreck of the old I old was right along quite like him with Model A. Bought it in 32 for six. Just a minute, just a minute. I asked you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. <laughs> just the fact about the wreck. You got well, me. I was driving along quite like it. Yeah. The wreck. <laughs> then I turned around and come back down here and told you about it. <laughs> Give me your keys, Harris. Hey. What's that? Spinning a yarn like that and driving while drunk. Room 310, I'll be there after that. I have a man to snowboard it. That does it. Go like yourself, Maria. Yeah, hey, you're under arrest. I have a man to snowboard it. That's because I ain't been drinking. <coughs> Thank you, Senator. Your statement has been duly noted. Police are not heavy. Out, baby. Out, out, out. Whatever you think's right. Put your way as a step. Can't you see what you're doing to me? You can't win them all, can't you? We haven't you met sure. before. Is this oh, your bottle? You want to have? Amazing. What? That's the only wife I need. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, nothing wrong with me having a bit. A little tittle here. Ugh, blue cheese flavored vodka. What do you mean topsoil's gone? What do you mean they moved? Well, ma. Lisa, I'm home. My baby, she rocks. No! no! <laughs> My baby, she rocks. took a bite out of that doily. Hey, I'm joining the circus. I'm going to spend the night with Blackwell. Mama said it was all right. Will you take me over? Well, I don't know, Missy. Gosh, that's two or three miles out. Before she couldn't walk, now she's hauling furniture. Oh, I sure. Kid dipping. Jay, what that's in the world has she done to that car? There's a fuel mixture. You like it? I just barely touched the gas pedal and back wheel started to spin. Well, I oh, was Mom, two blocks down the road before I even knew I'd left home. Come on, Mom. I'm just trying to make a hot rodder out of you. Hmm? Hey, it's Oedipus on wheels. Okay. Is there a phone on every wall? <laughs> hello. Yeah, hello, Sheriff. A what? Book on reptiles. Sheriff, you're breathing off. Yes, I still have it around here somewhere. Yeah, sure. Got your leg up? I have to take Missy over by the Blackwell. I'll stop by on my way to pick up Lisa. Okay? Okay. He's a queer duck. Well, now I'm going to tell you something you don't know. Mother's I've been a guy. to a zoologist. And the Halo monster size is controlled uh, say, like everything else fellas. by a sort of mm -hmm. thyroid or pituitary gland. Sometimes a change in diet can throw the balance all out of whack. Hmm. Either the cells break down too fast or build up too slow. I got the problem the too. That mm -hmm. makes either runts or giants of them. Good, but what's that mean to me? I Trouble. The zoologist also told me about a, a doctor who just found the bones of some huge animals down in Tangayika. Mm -hmm. And the theory was that uh, they lived in kind of river delta. You're really deep. Certain salts had washed into the valley, then absorbed by the plants, then transferred to the animal, causing them to be giants. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, yeah, I know. I probably sound a little bit like Harris, but let me tell the whole thing in my own words. Norman Rockwell, Sheriff. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. Brazil or something. It's in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old, 
was taller than his mother? What, you think I'm illiterate? I read the Enquirer. Supposed to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? Well, Glenn is 50 feet tall. No. Kilo monster footprints? Yeah, a big one. It's about the size of a bus. Lonnie Anderson's oh, bus? On. Are you oh, serious? So sorry. Well, I I'm in know. shame. Mm -hmm. But Harris saw it, and some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. Yeah. Giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the what, bridge. Ten over people in this water. town, and there's no great When? Point? Tonight, about an hour ago. Why? The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. You can't always believe what Harris said. Oh. I'll just let him ramble before I chop him off at the Pink knees. And black stripes. Could be that peyote. No, I, I told a guy out. in the other day. He said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. We've all been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. Hmm? You know, if they could have gotten that big, then they could have I can the get that big. Off that road. Hmm. They should have gotten him. Oh, my thinker hurts. Uh, don't look at those there. Not real. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party. I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. That, that would you tell them. in and around the wash. Troopers have got that staked off for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. If I don't tell, I'll just bust. Try and forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy? Yeah, sorry about the train wreck. Go enjoy yourself. Live the high life, you know? Oh, it's the annual fire hazard dance. Cool. Oh, heck, and we're going to miss the barn raisin. Shame, really. Do in the butt. Tow truck driver got a big old butt. Do in the butt. Well, hello. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm your host, Thomas Servo, and this is Servo on Cinema. This week, director Ray Kellogg. Ray Kellogg, uh, of course, was... Uh, excuse me, Tom. Uh, we've what? only got the one camera cam bot, okay? Oh, <clears throat> of course. Thank you. <clears throat> Ray Kellogg. Much like his good friend Orson Welles, Kellogg's career was short-circuited by his enormous ego and his difficulties in holding to a budget. For example, in today's film, The Gila Monster Effect, achieved with the use of a normal-sized Gila Monster and detailed sets filled with twigs and matchbox cars, and it was enormously expensive, and there was virtually no money left for blocking. But uh, Kellogg... Excuse being me. Don't, don't you think you should say a word to the audience about what blocking is, maybe? Hey, don't mind me. It's only my... My show. Well, I, good. I'm glad well, you said that. People Kellogg. of Earth, blocking is a technique used by directors to tell his actors where to stand or maybe what to do with their bodies. Hey, yeah, like in today's film. Uh, you'll excuse me, Tom. Sure, fine. Well, the director just had the actors put their legs up on everything. I was getting to that. You see, it's called the leg up position. Maybe the and leg Kellogg. up position is cheap, but for Pete's sake, they're unrelenting. They put their legs up on pipes, stop on it. benches, Joel, on Joel, edges, stop. Stop. on whatever. You're really, really ruining my show. Bro, bro. 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 This is his much. thing, you know. So. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Joel. Beat it, buddy. <clears throat> well, I thank you. Without further ado, a short film by Kambot, a tribute to the blocking techniques of director Ray Kellogg, known for the firmness of his leg up position. Suitcases on each other. Oh, that's wow. <laughs> Have you seen Point Break yet? Oh, no, but I understand Swayze does just about all his own stunts. Yep, 100% pure adrenaline. What about next to Kim? I love that the arrow shooting sequence. I didn't like Ghost too much. Jeez, what the hell? You look marvelous. Watch the Billy Crystal Marathon, 33 hours of nothing but the best of crystal. Is it possible you could get, like, more pimples on your back? The Billy Crystal Marathon, starting Saturday, September 19th at 12 noon, only at Comedy Central. Crisp, clean, old 
Old Spice. It puts the wind in your sails. Burger King has a deal that's really making some noise. Ow! Every time you buy a Whopper meal, you get a 16-ounce Coke glass free. <laughs> that's a flame broil Whopper sandwich, medium Coca-Cola classic, medium fries, and a Coke glass free. Sounds sweet, huh? Collect the whole set and you'll be seriously jamming. Not to mention the tasty fringe benefits. I heard that. Your way, right away at Burger King. The actual size of a Jolly Rancher candy is three-fourths of an inch by three-fourths of an inch square. But the actual taste of a Jolly Rancher candy is immeasurable. Jolly Rancher candy, the great taste of fruit, squared. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. So call this free number to find out how easy it is to train at home for a better career. Here at International Correspondence Schools, more than 500,000 Canadians have trained for job promotions and new careers without setting foot inside a classroom. And now at home, in your spare time, you can get your diploma. Choose from any one of these courses. High school, child daycare, interior decorating, wildlife forestry management, auto mechanics, computer programming, medical dental office assistant, journalism short story writing, dressmaking and design, fitness and nutrition, art, police sciences, or get your business diploma in hotel restaurant management, bookkeeping, business management, or accounting. Make this important call right now. Call for the free information on any one of these courses, then decide if you want to train at home for a better job or career. To make more money, call 1-800-338-3100. There's no obligation, no salesman will visit you. Call now, 1-800-338-3100. Hold it on, you've got to be. Now, I got a surprise for you. We got the king of the DJ. Oh, oh man, I hate it when seniors now, keep you've coming all heard back. The Matty show on KILT. That's right. Yeah, we're going to do a Matty wake up call to Marty Ingalls. <laughs> Seagull, everybody. Seagull. Okay, okay, your old dad here has some ball words and some great records. I want you to have a ball tonight. Let's begin with one of the top kilt survey songs. What do you say now? Let's everybody dance. Here we go. No. Let's this go guy really earns a salary, doesn't he? Shake, shake, shake your bed and parts. Woo! Yeah. When the caddy's rocking, don't bother knocking. <laughs> Red Bean. Now, do you mind telling me what this is all about? Have you been down to the train wreck? No, I'm not sure. What would I be down there for? I talked to a trooper about my son's car. What, he's selling his kid's car already? It shouldn't already? have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made, and it had been photographed. Wait a minute, Conrad. You're wearing pants under that coat? It wasn't done, was it, Jerry? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. Hmm. You didn't put that in your report, did you? Uh, huh? Of course you did. And I'll tell you why. Your Earl Warren. You were protecting that Chase Winston. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase Winston's a real booster. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend. Probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Nobody reads those things. Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler. Even yours. But Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Oh, throw that one up at me. Twist the knife, why don't you? Let me Ouch. Ask you something else. Are you a real sheriff? Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Yep, out of my jurisdiction. You believe him? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. You? Well, why not? There have been giants before. There might be giants. Two. How could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. Not uh, naked. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. Well, you're high, Conrad. No. This it's guy is like a puppet made by Sid and Marty Croft. He hardly moves. <laughs> yep. So is Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat. 
But countless death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. I thought this it, I breakfast thought found it. only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Oh, quit finding me. Well, now come out here. I want to show you something else. Uh oh. You call this fixed? Now, something may have hit this car, but it didn't take the tires off. Hmm. And where do those new white sidewalls on Chase Winston's hot rod come from? Uh, the lizard runs a chop shop? There was a tow in charge against He it. presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime. Uh -oh. Perhaps. That's thievery. Destroying evidence, obstructing justice. Now, your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go There's along to make sure gesture that again. Done. Hmm. You got me on that one. It sounds like a slow version of these boots are made for walk. Are you ready to walk, boots? Oh, I hate my life. It's, uh, it's uh, Carson Pyre. Charo is playing. You mean Charo in charge? <laughs> yeah. Barnaby Jones, epilogue. It's a teen growth fest. Woo! <sighs> hey, the wallflower's here. <laughs> oh, who invited King Curtis? Must be related to the producer Ken Curtis. Hey, kids, a fellow dropped in over KILT the other day. He offered me Coke to play I his record. Great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you and I'll see what you think about it. Yeah, it'll really make By you want to gyrate. the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to say your own way over there and back. Ooh, the stinger. Oh. Ouch. Now, see what you think of it. It's Dion Warwick. Dead Kennedys? No, it's a 1910 uh, Fruit Gum Factory. Fruit Gum Factory? No, no, nothing like right that. No, they are made of other way. Whoa! Ty Andrews dancing up a storm. Oh, Larry Miller. Oh. Larry Miller. No. Oh. Hey, there's Jessica Tandy back uh, in the back there. She's dandy. <laughs> Hey, don't rush the stage. Uh, it's got a good beat and it's easy to dance to. David Soul. John Travolta. Johnny Rivers. Art Garfunkel. Terrence Trent Darby. Johnny Thunders. Look, the same guy you hear singing on the record also wrote the song. Now, now, who is it? Does anybody know? Uh, Bobby Goldsboro. Okay, okay. okay. Come out on records in a couple of months, and you can find his name on the label. Oh, oh we can't read. Oh, come on. Oh, we can't. 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 Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Different. But I imagine with a little coaxing, you know, by hitting your hands together like this, you might give you a little preview of it. What do you say? Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should have washed it in cold water. It's a personal pan banjo. Tiptoe through the toilets. Hey, uh, see if you can get your gun back from the bouncer. Children laugh. The Lord said laugh. The Lord said taste my lizard steel. Tonight on Night Gallery, Lillian Hillman, Edward R. Murrow, and I will sneak a smoke behind the barn. I'd say music hath charms to annoy a savage beast. So, Sheriff, ready to do she do? <laughs> Matchbox. Save them. Oh, there's our Hot Wheels. Corgis, maybe. Sizzlers. Boy, you brought the party to a complete halt. I'm guessing this is the extended boredom mess. 
Okay, just blend in. We're from the committee to keep rock and roll white. Just a minute. It gets better. I just want to know if the Lord said it this many times in a row. That's why so. the Deuteronomy's so long. Oh. <gasps> it's Jack Ruby! And the Lord said, die, children, die. Hey, I forgot to stamp my hand. <laughs> Ouch, quit pushing back there. Ah. Stand Up Prime, seven nights a week. Comedy Central gives you Stand Up Prime, the best in stand up comedy during prime time every night. Read these lips. No new taxes. Read them again. No new taxes. Okay, now, read my hips. Screw you, everybody. New taxes. Here they come. Uh oh. New taxes. What can I say? <laughs> Why sitcom when you can stand up? Watch Stand Up Prime every night at 9 here at Comedy Central. Whose face would this match perfectly? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> you guys are so harsh. Well, have you seen him lately? No. Maybe he's getting a face transplant. <laughs> so why don't you, like, help him out? What should we do? Put the Clearasil on his zits for him? Nobody's going to tell you to your face you need Clearasil. Such strong medicine, Clearasil guarantees fewer pimples in five days of your money back. Kevin? Hey. Hey, Kevin, wait up. Only blue, only you, only cool, only heat, only rock, only shock, only sock, only heat. Rich, buttery toffee and smooth milk chocolate. Only heat tastes this good. Only friend. Sky fits heaven, so ride it. Lips fit mouth, so kiss them. And the face they adorn reminds you of someone you once knew long ago, familiar as these blue jeans. This is the story of two houses. Four years ago, the Taylor house was painted. In the same year, the Baker house had beautiful vinyl siding from Sears installed. Today, the Taylor house is peeling and cracking again. But the Baker house, with vinyl siding from Sears, looks as good as the day it was installed. If you want to enhance the beauty of your entire home, or if you have a brick home with just hard to paint eaves and overhangs, do it right. With maintenance-free vinyl siding from Sears. And do it now, because you can save money if you act now. So if you want your home to look fresh and new year after year and enjoy big savings, don't pick up a paintbrush. Pick up a phone and call for your free estimate now. Call 1-800-862-1000 now and save $1,000 on Sears siding during our triple play of values. You can make your home look like new and save $1,000. This is a limited offer. Call 1-800-862-1000. Watch the perfect marriage of Comedy Show and Comedy Network, Saturday Night Live, next, here at Comedy Central. Hi, I'm Dean Stevens from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I watch Comedy Central on Cox Cable Hampton Roads. It's cheap Labor Day weekend on Comedy Central, and you're watching Mystery Science Theater 3000. Look, it's the satellite of love. He couldn't hit the broadside of a barn dance. <laughs> Leave me alone, I paid the cover. Uh, I can take a hit, I don't need a barn to fall on me. Uh. Margot Hemingway in lipstick. Yeah, I'm going back to Jurassic Park. 
Ah, fooey on you, crummy townspeople. Ah. Well, he plumb crawled out of my jurisdiction. Why did I take the stop that thing? I don't know, but I'm going down to the train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. Don't well, you're gonna have to give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Hey. Where are we going? Hello, the rebels. Sorry, the I got a rebels. Look at him rip off there. Look at him go. You've been after this. Now you've got it. He You're didn't be. Listen, kids. Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Hmm. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. One hour deputizing. <laughs> All right, you're arrested. Sheriff says this is a place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, we're leaving. Now let's do the serenity prayer. Lord, please help me to accept the... We now return to Bearcats with Rod Taylor and Dennis Cole. We'll try reasoning with him. Oh, it's everything you said it was and more. Now you take these keys and wait inside the office till I get back. Uh, what type of kid? You want a sandwich? Uh, Stuart sandwich? Microwave burrito? Uh, bagel dog? Mom, how'd you get the knot untied? I leave the door, but let me see light. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Sid. I'm going to help. You know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow up half this town. Mm. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. But she can speak English all of a sudden. All right. Now take these and hold them and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop. Mom, I'll be back later to muck you out, okay? Wow, please leave the light on. Oh, it's the other leading brand of nitro. Mm. Now hold those. Joel, now he's driving a nitro-burning funny car. <laughs> Left, no race, no, no. <laughs> so how do you like Berkeley? This is Gila country, you beware. No, no, it's the field. Quick, Richard Phillips. They generally travel in a straight line. Oh, Unless they're hammered. Good Lord, he hit the Blackwell hole. That's where Missy is. What does the Lord say about that? This is Blackwell. Can Gila come out and play? <laughs> oh, this is the Asher house. He, house. he thinks he went all the way through. Don't you know me? Nitro. We're cutting across. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. And why? Oh, forget it. Got to drain a lizard. Going to go drain a lizard. That's what I'm doing. Yep. Do you want to blow up? Oh, it's the evil dead all of a sudden. Look out. It's all right, Missy. It's all right. Lisa, get busy and hold her down. Both <laughs> of you lie flat. Get in here with the nitro. It's safe. If you're unsure and it's the 50s, duck and cover. Mm -hmm. I will prevail. I'm a survivor like Cher. <laughs> it's go time. Let's party. <laughs> uh -oh. I saw this coming a long way away. The horror, the horror. Woo. Oh, they killed off the only likable character. Golf shoes for everybody. I dubbed this spot's luggage world. <laughs> I love the smell of lizard in the morning. It smells like chicken. I'm still here, Happer, you crap hound. No, oh, here comes Johnny on the spot now, <laughs> great. Yeah, these are out-of-state boys. They arrested me. I was out of my jurisdiction, don't you know? Are you all right? I'm better, Mommy. Yes, That's okay, honey. I found my new dress. Oh, we can't get you a new dress. It's coming out of your allowance. Everybody all right? 
Ah, we make a nice Yeah. Way. You? Ow! On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. Oh, good. Adley Stevenson is what here. What did you hit him with? Everything I had. My brand new 100% completed hot rod. That too. I had to start in the next county to right, get up enough old Mellum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin, right? Hmm? You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, Good job, McLeod. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. Railroad will be glad to buy your new one. And the upholstery, of course, will be from Hila and Hila of Beverly Hills. Did you say it? I sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. <laughs> like Holly Go Lightly? Yeah. Hey, Teeners, we found a new place to park and party. Ooh. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Easy, tear gas. Like, well, Rubber bullets. Happened, if that thing had turned back, same thing that happened to Pat. <laughs> Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. So is your gut. <laughs> Sense Compton's gone. I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. If you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning, I'll bring him around in the morning. Next time on the ABC Movie of the Week, Clint Howard in Killdozer. The go. sheriff will be back in Kill Hill 2 for revenge. This time it's personal. Chase, take us out with a song. Check into my, hey, uh, Cambot, I need a little more monitor up here. Two. One, two, two, shit, two, two, hey, two. Uh, hey, just a second, Tom. We're going to uh, go through the song list now, OK? OK, sure. Two. OK. Mm -hmm. two, now, uh, two. this is the way I see it. We're going to start with the stuff we know. We're going to do that. Eric Burden, I'm going to ride the serpent. OK. And then uh, that's followed by um, uh, cold-blooded, cold -blooded, right, and uh, Crow. No, 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 it's mm -hmm. Newt. Uh, I, I'm it's sorry. Newt I'm sorry, Newt, but we're not going to be able to do Karma Chameleon mm -hmm. for this show. Told okay? you, Newt. OK, so we do the lineup as is. Uh -huh. We start with the stuff. We know, followed by the stuff we don't know, mm -hmm. followed by Tom Servo's... No, no, on the gecko. The gecko's <laughs> touching and heartfelt yeah. version of It's Not Easy Being Green, kind of yeah. like the way that Buddy Rich did it on The Tonight Show, mm -hmm. okay? Exactly. And then uh, finally, uh, for the finale of that crow, I mean the newt, we'll do the Gene Simmons tongue thing, okay? Uh, uh, right. Woo, look uh, at that tongue action. Uh, 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 I'll just say, guys, uh, I hate to be the flat tire in your tour bus. Um, I, I mean, I don't want you to think that I'm the aspirated uh, vomitus. What, what is it? your point, Crow? Well, aren't we just doing the same stuff we did when we were spied or? What? You know, the glam rock power trio from Earth versus the spider. It's the same thing. No, no way, man. We're no. going in completely different directions here. The the lineup's different, the instruments are the this same. Well, these the, helmets are new. Helmets are Not new, helmets, yes, and the, yeah. the sign, and the, it's sign. pretty lame, isn't it? We should just go ahead and read a letter. Just, oh, yeah. right, it was so, kind of a dumb idea. Okay, well, here we go. We got the letters. People always seem to like that. Okay, this is from, get that on still story. This is from Shannon, Hi, Shannon. age four. Nice, it says, on. Shannon likes your show, and it reads uh, Gypsy, mm -hmm. Joel, Tom, and then Crow is art. Art? <laughs> she thinks you're art. Oh, okay, yeah. and then we got art another art, one here. Uh, let's put that on still story. Ooh, this one uh, nice. reads, Dear Joe and Bots. Bots, I, that's us! Woo! Oh, we're, the we're the bots! Woo! We're the bots! Thank you, thank you. Thank you I just love you, little guys. I like that way Tom Serbo sings. Guess, Serbo? My favorite robot is Crow, but Joe is funny too, and it's signed. TV's Frank? Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> what a little kiss up. Push the button, TV's Frank. Oh, little John, have you seen my arrow? <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Hi, it's Tammy 
from Atlanta again. Now, up next, we've got Saturday Night Live. You know, the coolest show with the coolest guests. We've got Eddie Murphy and Stevie Wonder. And then after that, at 1 o'clock, it's Stand Up, Stand Up America. And then we've got all kinds of funny women on Women Aloud with the host, Mo Gaffney. On this show, she's having Joy Behar. You know, that crazy looking woman. But anyway, we're not going to talk about people like that. Um, now, y'all keep watching Comedy Central's Cheap Labor Day Weekend with Tammy. You know, she's in charge. I'm the president this weekend. So they were doing everything I say. I'm Jeff, and she's Christine from Elizabeth, New Jersey. It's Cheap Labor Day weekend here at Comedy Central. Hi, I'm Chris. I want to see Saturday Night Live with the only guy that could make me laugh like this. Uh, 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 uh.